What is your thought about the way that the government has handled the immigration crisis? I'm going to say total cock up, I'm sorry, but it is. I work, used to work in a hotel, yeah? The whole place now is full of immigrants. They go out there, they get their free this, their free that. We can't even get jobs off of us. And then they're working as well. I'm not racist, and I know it sounds, but I'm not. But it just winds me up that every nook and cranny, that's where they are. You know, they go for all the bins of the night time. They take all the stuff outside. But you shouldn't have asked me, I told you it's wound me up. I'm sorry. Just quickly, who do you vote for? Labour. And do you think Labour will handle immigration better than what the Conservatives do? To be fair, love, I don't... They're all, I don't think no one's got a clue because it's never really happened, has it? It's, it's all sort of been bombarded on us. And I don't think it was Conservative or Labour. I don't think any of them got a clue, to be quite honest. So I think whoever did it, it's not going to be a great job of it. So you're not hopeful for the future then? No, I just think it's going to get worse. It's all right saying they're not going to let anybody else in, but they are. And then we're, we're made to feel sorry for them because the boat's capsided, didn't they? But they know the risk. My biggest thing is, I know people, I've worked with people that have come from Ukraine, right? Fair enough, because they're fleeing. The lady I know, she, she had a, her own house, she's come over here, had to pay a £1,000 a month rent because she had to flee with her son, because her son was 17 and they wanted him to go into the army and she was so scared. Yet, the other people coming here, they're not fleeing from war, war was it places. They're just fleeing because they know he's here for a better life. What about the people that have come from places like Afghanistan, other places where there is actual war? Well, that's different. I've got compassion for them. Like I said about this Ukrainian lady, I've got the compassion. I don't. It's freeloading. That's what gets me. Is the freeloaders come over here? Oh, let's go to England. Blah blah blah. Because half of them are men that come over here. So if they wanted to come over here for a better place, why aren't they taking all their families with them? Well, I think that we should look after. We, we should look after our own people more. Um, you know the people that are born in this country, I think we should start looking out for them instead of bringing more foreigners in. Because it's not fair on everybody else, especially us. You know what I mean? Because that's what I think that's what my view on it, yeah. How does it impact your life? Um, I get, I don't, I, it's just, I start to see too many of them on the streets. So they're, too, they're in gangs, they're going around now selling drugs. And they've got, you know, you know what I mean? And they've got knives and they're just bullying people. So, and they drive around in their flash cars that the government give them, got nice houses and everything else. And they're leaving our own people out. It's not fair. And they're all on the street, a lot of us. The government doesn't give uh, asylum seekers cars, though. They provide them with housing. Yeah. So, how is, how is the government giving them so cars? So, how come they've all got really nice cars on that as well, then? I'm not too sure. I mean, have you seen firsthand that migrants have been walking around with gangs. knives and, and guns? Yeah, yeah, of course I have, yeah. Here on these streets? Yeah. Chatham, Ivory. Yeah. But I don't really, you know, I'm, that's just my view on it. I think we should just look after our own. I think it's absolutely disastrous. They're behind the times. And I just think we should look after our own first. And also, there's people, well, I'm an OAP, and I don't mean just white people, I mean all over. Some people can't afford to feed themselves or have the electric on. And I just think it's disgusting. And then they put them in barracks, and that's not good enough for them. They set them on fire. It was good enough for our soldiers, but I could be here all day. It winds me right up. Which political party do you usually vote? The last time I didn't vote, to be honest, because I think they're all liars. The only one I would vote for, but I don't think he'll get in again, is Nigel Farage. And so do you think any other political party, apart from the current Conservative government, would do a better job on immigration? No, I think they all, they all feather their own nest. They're all liars. All of The whole lot of them. The best one we've ever had was Winston Churchill. That's how I feel. I think that they've got a really, really difficult task, as does the whole world. Um, and I think that we, on one hand, we need to have compassion for people. I cannot personally imagine having been forced to leave my home. I really can't imagine, you know, uprooting everything. And I think many people haven't stopped to think about what drives these people. On the other hand, um, 
it's really, really difficult when we get a whole load of people coming in and we haven't got the resources and the facilities. There seems to be globally a huge moving around. I mean, Italy, and I follow Italy a lot, they've got a terrible problem, but somehow they seem to be coping. And I think we just have to have um, ourselves personally... Um, I think we need to be kind to people. We need to welcome people when we can with open arms because we don't know what their story is. So is the, hand, is the government handling it well or not so well? I wouldn't like to say that because I, think, I don't think anybody could handle it in a particular way that would suit everybody. So I really feel that, that actually that that's a very unfair question. What are your thoughts on the way that the government is handling the immigration crisis? handling it. What do you mean by crisis? Like, So the huge numbers of asylum seekers, refugees and economic migrants who've made the journey over the past eight to ten years. Okay, um, how are they handling it? They make out they're the enemy coming here unsubscribed, but really they're coming here, the government let them in. You can stop them easily I believe. Um, segregation, divide and conquer, make an enemy up from another state, make a bad guy up and then there's no one else to blame. Which political party do you usually vote for? None. And do you think any other political party would do a better job than the current Conservative government? Mm, I'll be honest with you, I think the system has to be scrapped, you know? You can't ask what the best way to end the fight for death is of two people, you've got to stop it. And it's just the same people go to the same schools, the same places, you know, old rugby friends voting against each other, in my opinion, you know? So I don't think it's a good way system to last year. I think got to scrap that aristocrat, blue-blooded, private school, voting, conservative, Labour. They all go to school together. They're all buddies. It's not an opinion, is it? They'll go to school together, isn't it? Well, with regards to the actual the, the dinghies that are coming over, the boats coming over, I think it's completely inhumane, in all honesty. I think um, yeah, they should be doing a lot more. I understand that they've got issues with immigration, with people coming in illegally, but um, I think it comes down to a result of foreign policy ultimately and um, at the end of the day I see them as humans they you know they have they bleed red just the same as everyone else and uh, they deserve a chance to live freely as we do in this country. I think clearly it's an enormous challenge and anybody who's in power is going to have to make compromises and they're not going to be able to please everybody. The impression I get is that this is entirely tied in with the climate crisis and what we're looking at is a world that's becoming more desertified it's becoming more arid and we can predict that more and more people are going to be shifting in the decades to come. And so unfortunately, whoever the nations are in the temperate regions of the Northern Hemisphere, we're going to have to have a much more sharing attitude to where we live. You can see why people, you know, are coming here. Uh, but a lot, a lot of people are coming here for the wrong reasons. Uh, the government are trying as hard as they can, but relying on the French to, uh, to keep up the border controls as well. It uh, seems to be a, a bit of a battle for everyone. Which political party do you usually support? <sighs> well, that's a difficult one as well, because uh, which is the best? Uh, they're, they're all as bad as each other. Uh, I, wouldn't know, I, I want a complete new, fresh party. Uh, basically, if, if, I was, if I had my way, everyone would... Uh, there would be a, a daily newspaper where the people could vote. That, uh, leave the politicians out of it. It should be down to the people at the end of the day. So more referendums? Yeah, without a doubt, yeah.